Hello, it's Tracy Marr here and in this tutorial I'd like to introduce you to kinetic typography and some of the interesting effects that can be applied to text. So by applying some animations to text we're going to make fun stuff happen on the screen. So let me first show you exactly what we're going to create in this tutorial and then I'll go show you how to do it. So you can see there are a couple of things happening. The text is growing, it's turning and spinning on its side and we've got some stuff bouncing in and around it. Let's now recreate it. I'm going to add a new slide and the first thing I'm going to do is pop in a background by clicking design, format background and let's go with a gradient fill. So I'm going to choose the orange at the bottom. So we have our background now and the next thing we need to do is add in our text. And let's select text box here and pop in some text. So we're going to write welcome. And I want to format that. I'm going to make it a chunky font, Bevas. I'm going to make it white. I'm going to grow it. At the moment, I'm not going to worry about the font size too much because we've got to align those a little bit later. Okay, so we have our first piece of text and let's now add our second piece. This is the piece of text that is going to come in and then flip over to the left. So let's copy and paste that and let's make this to our welcome to our website. Now we want these to be the same size when they flip. So I'm going to increase the size of the font fairly roughly for the moment because we're going to refine this a little bit later. We also want what want to add welcome to our website. Let's copy and paste again. Our website is going to be a lot bigger. This is the text that's going to pop down into the middle. So let's extend that out. And let's grow that considerably. Again, this will be refined a little bit later. And let's just align these over each other for the moment. And the final thing we need is our URL. So copy and paste again. Let's shrink this down. And shrink it down a little bit more. This is going to have to be the same size as the website text. Okay, so you can see it's a little bit bigger, so I'm going to just manually make this smaller, so 38, so 39 possibly. We'll make it just the right size. Okay, so you can see we've got a lot of text here and it's difficult to see because it's all jumbled up. So you can click on Home, the Select option here and Selection Pane. When you select that, it will open up options to the right here with this small little eye icon and you can switch off each piece of text or each object on the canvas by clicking the eye icon. So let's first work with the welcome text. It's now time to add animations. So let's close this format background panel here so we have more space to work with. We're going to add a total of four animations to this piece of text. So let's select on it and click and choose animations and let's open the animation pane so we can keep track of what we're doing. So let's first add a simple fly in animation and we're going to make a fly in from the top and we're going to leave the duration at 0 0.50 but we're going to add a little extra bounce to the text so let's add a 0 0.40 bounce preview and you can see the text drops in and bounces. After it drops in and bounces, we want to we want to turn it on a quarter spin over to the left. So let's select again, add animation, and this time we're going to add a grow and shrink. Because as it's turning to its left, we want it to get a little bit smaller. So the options we're going to choose here, duration, 0 0.50, delay. 0.25. That just means there's a slight delay after it falls in and before it starts to grow and shrink. So there's a little bit of time to read what's going on. 
And let's also add a 0 0.40 bounce to this. So let's make this start after the previous. Let's set the size to custom 70%. So it's going to shrink to 70% of its original size. While the text is shrinking, we also want it to spin. So the next thing we're going to add is an animation called spin. Very simple. In the effects, choose counterclockwise. We want it to spin over to the left. And also choose quarter spin. So let's make the duration 0.5 and the delay 0.25. And let's also add a small bounce to the spin, 0 0.40. So let's now preview. Apologies, so let's make this with previous before we preview. So you can see we've got our effect going on. We've got the text flying in. We've got a grow and shrink so it gets smaller and we've got a quarter spin. The next thing we want to do is move the text over to the left so we can have space for the other text coming in. So to do that, we click again on the text and we add an animation. This time we're going to add a motion path and select lines. So place your mouse over the white dot with the red border here at the end of the motion path. Click on it and simply drag your text up to the position where you want it to land or finally rest. So we're going to go directly to the left and let me preview. Okay, so that's a sliding effect. You can see that after it spins and turns, it moves over to the left. We want that to happen sort of seamlessly. So let's click with previous. Let's make it a little bit faster by selecting the duration to be just one. Okay, so that's looking pretty good now. The next thing we want to do is do the same for our second piece of text. Welcome to our website. Now we don't have to go through the whole process of creating all those animations again. We can simply click on the text that we've already animated, choose Animation Painter and select our new text. So you can see that the animation has been copied over to this text. Obviously, we need to make some small tweaks because we want it to go to the right this time. So I'm just going to hide our welcome text now. So let me hide that. And let's just work with our text here to our. So the first thing we want to do is on the spin animation, we want to change that to be counterclockwise. And on the motion path, we want to change that to go to the right instead of the left. OK, so let's reveal our text again and let's see what happens. OK, I want both of these to happen at once. So I'm going to make the second text happen with previous. And I'm just going to make a small delay. That's working pretty much as it should. So let's hide those elements now and let's reveal the text website. And for this, we need a simple animation. It's just a fly in and we're going to make a fly in from the top. Again, we're going to add a small bounce, 0.40. And let's also reveal the logo text. And um, this is going to fly in from the bottom. Add animation. Fly in from bottom and also with the small bounce. 0.40. OK. Let's show our text again. Let's make the website text happen after previous and also with previous and a slight delay of 0.25. Okay, that's looking pretty good, except our text is a little bit offline. If I preview, you can see that the website text on the URL is a little bit too low. 
So I'm just going to move those up a little bit, clicking on the text and dragging it upwards. And let's preview again. Okay, so that's looking good. I got lucky with the font sizes here. Sometimes you might need to adjust them a little bit, but I just got very lucky on this one. So let's go ahead and finally add our two bars here that appear over the logo by clicking Insert Shapes. Just a simple line. And let's drag the line across this way. And let's make it a white line. And let's make it six point weight. Okay. So I'm going to add a simple animation to that. And it's a wipe animation. Okay, so let's make that happen with previous. And let's copy and paste. Control C, Control V. Drag it to the bottom. And let's preview. Okay, you can see this bottom line is a little bit too close. Let me click on that. And drag it down. And preview again. And that's looking great. So you can see now that by adding a variety and a combination of animations to text, you can make some pretty interesting things happen on screen. All you've got to do is experiment with all the different animations you've got, and you can get some pretty unique kinetic typography effects. Thanks for watching.